today's mukbang, we already, we ordered Domino's and they got the wrong order. They fucked up. I I was supposed to get a medium pizza, the wings, and a large pizza, but they gave me another medium pizza. So yeah. Anyways, you got credits though. Yeah, I did get a credit. Um. This is my sister Marina. Uh, obviously, you can tell that we're sisters. Hello. She is like two years older than me, so she's like gonna be 22, like literally, like in a week, I think, right? Two, two weeks? March 10th. That sounds like a week from now, but anyways, it's close. But yeah, um, let me show you guys the food. So I got this one mostly for me. I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, but this is basically jalapeno. <laughs> I'm scared. This is basically jalapeno with a. Uh, Pepperoni, which is what I usually like to get and then we got some wings Well, they're not wings. Well, they are but they're boneless And they're just the, chicken. They're just chicken Ooh. Yeah, they're chicken and, and they're over the ranch. I know and They're buffalo flavor and then for the pizza that I guess technically yours yeah. would be um, Pepperoni and beef so that's what you usually like getting. And then I got my Tabasco, Tabasco, Tabasco. I will say Tabasco. Uh, I got my Tabasco sauce because I like everything spicy. Let me show this. I don't know if you can even see it, but let me show this. I feel like you've seen too many mukbangs that you already know like how everything. You know what? Let's just up. let's just get this out of like I see. Because the box is like irritating me. Okay. There. So they're just 12 pieces, but they're very, very small. Anyways, so yeah, let's just start eating. <laughs> okay. okay. Wait, quieres un plato? I guess we can just eat it from the box, no? Or. I mean, but to put your wings or whatever. Oh, yeah, true, I guess. Um. So. Let's just talk about like how our lives have been. <laughs> <laughs> or like um fuck that let's make fun of Jordan Woods mm. okay so I don't know if any of you guys uh like are like me and basically like the Kardashian tea I like, like, I like the tea not I, them. I'm kidding yeah. no, they're fine um if you guys haven't heard I know some of you guys are not even gonna understand what I'm talking about but for those of you that do understand, Khloe Kardashian, her husband, husband or whatever, ex-husband now, or boyfriend, whatever they were, slept or like was having something going on with Kylie Jenner's best friend. Jordan. Yeah, when I found that out, I was in shock. I was like, I was shook. What do you guys think about all of that? Cause I love the memes. The me I know you're not supposed to like make fun of people's like misfortunes or whatever, but sometimes you can ju you can't just help but to laugh. Like I'm mostly just laughing at Jordan's words. Napkins? I didn't get no napkin. Okay, your napkin. My napkin. Okay, so yeah, like that whole thing going on. I think I'm gonna eat here because like eating in the plate is like a little bit extra. But yeah, like I don't mind making fun of Jordan and the husband. I think Chloe deserved better anyway. She always wanted like when I used to like watch the Kardashians a lot on um, TV. Uh, I remember Chloe really wanted a family. Like she really wanted like a strong family like unit, and to her to just have like a cheating husband like a daughter like like i know it sucks to have a daughter and like not have the father there or the father being like 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 an asshole basically you know everybody dreams one day get married be married happy have a happy family but it's 2019 and unfortunately it's not like that anymore but i'm not saying it's impossible but i'm just saying it's more common to like have a kid and then get divorced it's just that common nowadays, but yeah. I'm gonna try one of the chicken. 
I don't know if you guys can see, but because the camera is really far actually, but I think you're right. I'm not gonna use the point. This is how they look like. They're so tiny. They gave you twelve. Again, this is buffalo, so but I kind of want to be so intense that I want to add Tabasco. You're crazy. I'm the only Mexican who doesn't like anything spicy, and people like get like not upset, but they're like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, one more thing. People that don't like anything, their tacos are crazy. Mm. I always have to put everything on my tacos. I put cebolla, cilantro, limon, two types of salsas, everything. The only thing I put is cilantro and like limon because I don't like onions. I don't like hot stuff, but it, it's something. I like cilantro and limon. Good. So like, no, I was gonna say, do you want to talk about how you got into mukbangs? Oh yeah. So let me talk about that. Like I got into mukbangs basically. Um, first time I like got into mukbangs, I uh, subscribed to this girl called Star. She's like a vegan mukbanger. So it was interesting, but not interesting at the same time. Um. And I just, I don't know, it's such a weird thing that, like, there's people out there, like me, that just love looking at people eat, you know? I know that sounds weird, but... Mm. I think it's weird, too. Like, I almost, like, I always wanted to do mukbang, but I wouldn't watch mukbangs, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's, like, hypocritical of me to say that, but... Like, I only watch them when Emily puts it on the TV. Like, I wouldn't watch it by myself because it's... Unless if they're interesting. I really like the Patrick Star one and, um... Uh, what's her name? Jenny69. Like, it was Mexican food? No, the other one. Um, B Loves Life. If anyone out there watches her, B Loves Life... Oh, my goodness. Go check her out. Her channel name is literally B Loves Life. She... That's her literally... All she does is mug bangs. But I love her. Like she does amazing mug bangs. Like out of Check out the one with Patrick Starr. I really like that one. Mm -hmm. That's the only mug bang I actually like sat through watching the whole thing. Mm. So like I said earlier, you guys, I got this free pizza because I got points. <laughs> Is that how much we order Domino's? I don't think we even eat Domino's that much. Throughout, like, I think a long period of time, I accumulated points. Like, I think it's 60 points, and you get, like, a free medium Do you get one point for every order or for every pizza in each order? But I have no idea. I really don't. I feel like you should get a point for every pizza you order, like, in the order. For example, this would have been two points. And that's because it would have taken me a long ass time to like accumulate 60. Yeah. So, y'all excited for the rodeo? If you're from Houston, are you excited? Mm. So, literally, I think it starts this Monday, right? Yeah. Yeah. Also, I mean, I'm so excited, but the weather. The weather is gonna fuck it up so much. Like, it's so ugly outside. I hate when it looks like that. And then it's cold. And obviously, the rodeo is about being outside, outdoors. I, I remember like two years ago or three years ago when we went to the rodeo. And it was sunny, but like, it wasn't like hot, hot. Like, it wasn't like burning you and i hope it's like that this year where it's like it's just sunny it's not like like it's a bit windy but not like freezing or like hot like you're sweating like nah like that day was perfect it was perfect i remember that day specifically we went pretty early i i don't really remember but i want to say that we got there like at 11 like, or 10 was it really i think because i know i wasn't like because we one. left like at five right or six? no we left later 
Uh, we were leaving when the sun was down, going down, like the sunset. Oh, bro, the sunset was beautiful. Yeah. And, like the rise and shit. Like, and then once so we were, crazy. once we were walking to where our car was at, uh, which was like fucking far. Of course, so because we're too fucking cheap to get the. Like the golf cart to drive us to the stu- it's to the stadium. It's not a golf cart. No, but, no, we did get a car to no, drive us. No, on the way over there, but on the way back, we were like, "Fuck that, we're walking." <laughs> it wasn't that far, but you know, it was nice to walk. And once we were walking, it was already dark. So, so yeah. Um. I was gonna say something <laughs> after that. Oh yeah, let's talk about. Mm. Let's talk about some movies that are coming up. Captain Marvel. I know what your thoughts on it. Like I kind of agree, but not agree with her at the same time. Hmm. I feel like something else is coming. Oh, I'm so, wait. Didn't Happy Death Day came out? Isn't it coming out this week? Or did it, it been out? out like. <laughs> I'm like so late. Like I wanted to see that so bad. It's like one of those movies that nobody fucking cared about. Like, like the little movie too. Nobody went to see that. Even though I love the first one, it just people were like the second one. Is that? I want to see Happy Death Day too because I saw the first one. And I thought it was really cool. You never got to see it, but it was really cool. I like the idea of it. Yeah, I believe you. Oh, it's cool. But um. But yeah, <laughs> nobody's watching the Lego movie too. Like, the box office is like shit. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Who's ready for um, Endgame? Basically, part two of Infinity War. That comes out when? March? No. April 26th. April. April. Yeah. I'm not ready. I'm so ready to see that. I want to know what happened. I'm pretty sure every single one of you guys has watched it. Not everybody. I know some people that didn't watch it because they're not fans of like superhero movies. No, I actually, I I knew people that aren't like they're not known for like watching that type of movie, but they did. But you kind of have to watch Marvel movies to like understand what what's going on, though. Like, if it ain't it's not like a movie you can just pop in if you didn't if you've never seen any other Marvel movies. Cause you have to know the characters, the way they interact with each other. Like, like when <laughs> when uh, Star Lord and Tony Stark met, it was very funny. And it and you know it's very funny because you know how they are based on like their own movies. But if this is the first time you're watching, you're like, why, why is he so like like such a jerk or something? Um, you know? This is such a cute. I said cute. I mean, it's such a good piece. It's like burnt. This is burnt cheese. And you know, that tastes very good to me. It's a crunchy part. Mm. But yeah, you have to watch some Marvel movies before watching Infinity War. At least store Ragnarok because that's where it starts from, like the ship. Mm. Probably Thor Ragnarok was really funny. Like it was sort of its like traditional Thor movies. I hope Into the Spider Verse wins an Oscar this year. I'm pretty sure it will. Oh, let's talk about the Grammys. Like I don't know. That's so old. I really, I know, but I always wanted to talk about it. Um. Mm -hmm. I don't know if any of you guys um, even bothered watching the Grammys, but... Um, we didn't. We didn't either. We just saw everything online, like the news. And I'm shook it. Actually, I shook it. Um, there's so many um, awards that I feel some people didn't deserve, you know? Like always. I like how Jake was like, this don't mean nothing, and then they just cut him off. <laughs> this is so funny. I wish I could have seen that live. I know. But, like, it's true, though. Like, like the Grammys always been so stupid to me. Like, I, I don't I know. I feel like the Grammys really lost their, like, 
Touch. They're touched because they used to it's be... It's meaningless so, now. Yeah, like, they really used to is. be so, like, prestige and so, like, if you ever won a Grammy, like, you were, like, the biggest person. Like, you were the shit if you won the Grammys. But now it's like they give it to anyone. They give it literally to people that I feel, in my opinion, don't even deserve it. Like, unknown people. Yeah. I'm looking at you, album of the year. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's talented too. I just think like against the other ones, no, in my opinion. If you were very influential that year, then yeah, you deserve the Grammy. If you barely were in the top one hundred or whatever, good good for you. That's amazing. But like, like what do they base it on? Like people vote on it, but then also like Eminem came out saying like your vote doesn't matter. They give it to whoever they think like it's cool or like. A trendy or whatever, like they're like, because you know, it's a group of people, like uh, people that are like critics that know how like music music works apparently. But which I'm like, music is subjective, like the same way as art. Like, how can you really judge music, you know? But anyway, you just those people vote and then they like, like you know, whatever, whoever has the most votes that they get the Grammy. But then Eminem was like, the voting doesn't matter, like, it really doesn't. You just they just give it to whoever, like, is more relevant. <laughs> um, I just want to say that, and it's like, going back to the Kardashians, I love the Kardashians, like, in, like, a love and hate relationship, like, I love that their work ethic, I love that they're so... Smart about their money. That was the only talent that they have. <laughs> and yeah, I like I love the fact that they build their own empire on makeup, fashion, like. Illuminati. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but um, you know it's true. Basically, everyone you know and love is a part of the Illuminati, celebrity wise. I don't think Adele is. A There's some people that I know they're not in Illuminati because they seem just too normal. Like, for example, Adele, my theory is because, like, the, lo the Illuminati oh. wants you to, like... Are you okay? Mm-hmm. No, it's because I have a, a wisdom tooth. Oh, you're... <laughs> way in the back, like, just fucking all the way in the back. And sometimes when I bite stuff... With that wisdom tooth, it just it hurts a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like I was saying, if you work for the Illuminati, they want you to work consistently and consistently. Adele takes like four years off every al after her album. Obviously, she's not in the Illuminati. Like, they wouldn't let her have that long of a break. And it's not like you know the Illuminati rules or anything. No, look, look at it. You know Cardi B? I think she's an Illuminati because she's consistently making money moves. Like, I know that's, like, a thing or whatever, making money moves. But, like, she works hard. Like, she really does. She poops out, like, song after song after single after this and that. Yeah. Comment down below who you guys think is a part of the Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> What were we talking about? The yeah, Illuminati. Oh, we did it at the same time. Okay, so we we freak her boyfriend out because me and Emily always, almost always say something at the same time. Like if we were like twins, but we don't know why we do that. Like it just happens. Mm. Hey you guys, so comment also down below where do you like getting your pizza from? Because for me, it's always Domino's. It used to be Pizza Hut, but I don't know what's wrong with them now. I used to love Pizza Hut, but now they just like don't do it for me. <clears throat> I 
feel like it depends on which city you live in or stuff like that. Because, like, every Domino's or every pizza uh, chain, every nobody's going to make the pizza the same. Like, some places make it, like, shittier than others. Like, how me and Emily prefer specific Jack in the Box over other ones. Because other ones, like, they don't make the food right, but another Jack in the Box, they do. I'm going to just start drinking water so I can just stop working. Because you think I was still like, for this one. You're just gonna expose me like that. <laughs> One more thing, don't forget to subscribe to Pete Pie. So ugly. And let's let's win the war against T series. I did my part. Did you do yours? <laughs> okay, so let's talk about stuff that's on the news. So what have you heard so far on the news? Same thing as always, shooting murders, rape. Oh my god! What? Not like that. I mean, am I wrong though? Like, mm. no. I mean, like, <clears throat> like news. Like, have you heard anything about any laws? Like, any protests? And not like that deep. You remind me of my freshman year teacher where I had to do a project on like a, it was Spanish class, and I had to do a project on a, on a person that's like influential, and I picked Demi Lovato, and once when I was, and when I started talking about how she wanted to like kill herself and stuff like that, and how she struggled with mental illness, and she was like, let's not talk about that, well, let's not talk about that, let's talk about something positive, whatever, I'm like, I'm gonna not talk about it. That's like the whole reason why I met the project because she was strong and like, like, you know, went through it, you know? Like, how can I not talk about that? Like, that's like, you just reminded me of my teacher when you said that. It's because teachers and people like that tend to hide the reality. <laughs> like, yeah, but you literally do it. Like, you're like, what, what's in the news? I was like, oh, shootings and stuff. No, but I'm doing it because I'm like, I don't want to talk about that while I'm eating pizza. Like, okay, let's talk about something wholesome I saw on Twitter. It was like a girl, she tweeted, I didn't know how to wrap up my burrito, so my mom sent me a video, and this is so cute. And it's the mom saying, so, agarras la tortilla así, pones así la rosa, lo que quieres, and then you just fold the sides, y lo enrolles. I'm sorry, how do you not know how to fold a burrito? Okay, okay, that's the thing, though, like, I do know, whatever. I guess she probably it, didn't know. Like, I see it all, like, if you go to Chipotle, you see them. It's easy. There's some people that don't pay attention. People are just order their food and they're on the phone. They're on their phone just like whatever. But yeah. I like... My foot fell asleep. I like, um... Pásame esta casa, sí. Like... Okay. Ahorita. Hold on, I'm gonna be off camera while we quiet. Like. I like, um... Seeing people make my food. Like, I think that's, that's very... That's weird. Inter no, that's interesting. Just keeping an eye on them if they like spit on it or something. Gross. No, I just love the fact that um, I like seeing a process. I mean, if you don't have the right tortilla, that's probably why you should couldn't wrap her burrito. To make a burrito, you need a flour tortilla because that like basically this big. No, but the thing is that like the video that her mom sent her, she used a regular tortilla and still wrapped it. I was like, you're truly Mexican if you can make that type of tortilla like wrap up like a burrito. <laughs> it was so adorable. That was like mom goals. Actually, my mom is like that. <laughs> one time my mom, remember that one time we were trying to look for a purse for Emily and my mom found one and I recorded my mom saying, like my mom told me to record her. And my mom was like modeling the purse and be like, see, you can put your water bottle here, you can put your wallet. It was so cute. Like, moms are awesome. Like, they're wholesome. Wholesome content. <laughs> I, would really, I would really like to have a video where I have my mom in it. <clears throat> I'm working on an idea. I have like, some ideas, but. Um, yeah, I'm. Thinking of ideas on what what videos should I put my mom in, and um, you know, um, I'm just waiting on a perfect day because she works and all, so I'm like getting like a scheduled day to film a nice 
beautiful video. So you guys can meet my mom. She's off. She's off Saturdays and Sundays. I know, but then you know, sometimes when we're when she's off Saturdays and Sundays, like uh, we have stuff to do. We do a lot of errands for some reason. That's if she wants to be in my videos. What if she's like, no? <laughs> she's like, okay, what am I doing here? Like, what do you want me to do? She's gonna be asking so many questions. Mm. So, her birthday's coming up. So, what are you planning on doing for your birthday? I thought we were just going to the rodeo. Mm. Mm. But more than that, like, you know. I was thinking our March 8th, which is like the Friday before my birthday, we can go like take a lift and go to AMC 30 and like watch Captain Marvel. <laughs> um, yeah. Or, um, you know what? Because, um, I'm the type of person that when my birthday is coming up, I want so many, um, not things, but I want things to be my way. Like, I want a specific cake. I want, you know, not that I'm being, like, you know, a high maintenance or anything. But, um, I like to just have my birthday. Like, first of all, knowing what you want it doesn't mean you're high maintenance. It's just, yeah. you just know what you want. That's, like, not a bad thing to say. And, yeah, like, I always want to get, like, um certain cakes from somewhere and stuff like that. I don't do a big celebration for my birthday. It's just a typical pastel, um, happy birthday song and that's it. <laughs> that's what I'm planning to do. I'm planning to like, like, like we're gonna wake up early on Sunday so we can just like, you know, have a birthday breakfast and then just cut a cake and then just head to the rodeo. That's what I was thinking, and then like, like I said, on March 8th, we can go to the movies. Just you and me, since everybody's working and stuff like that. I have, you guys can see, but this is so good. It has, um, I don't know exactly what it has. It's chicken with some buffalo sauce on it, a shit ton of cheese, but I don't know what that's, I don't know. I don't know, but it tastes good. You know what would be an amazing mukbang? Like I feel like if, if, if we do a mukbang with like um, comida de, de traila, I guess. I, that's how I say it. I don't know how you guys taco say it. Taco truck. Yeah, taco truck. Like having some tacos, like um, some, what else do they serve? Machetes. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it basically, it's basically this long like deep fried thing and then you can add your the the type of meat that you want it's like this big um we can get a torta torta stuff like that i'm very picky with my tacos i can't just eat tacos from anywhere mm -mm. like Tacos have to be really good. Oh my god, this reminds me of the time where like one of my co-workers she ordered pizza from the Pizza Hut across the street. Um uh, <laughs> and then we, they were like, Yeah, can you just deliver it? We're like across the street from me, like like we're right there and they're like, Oh okay. Yeah, and I saw her go inside and get, like, he couldn't find us, like, we told him the name of our, our, our place, like, how can you not find us? Like, you know, just walk through the door, she had to, like, she had to go outside instead of him, like, walking, I guess he was shy, like, he didn't want to come in or whatever, so she went outside to get her pizza, but yeah.
So, what are you guys planning on doing once it's not ugly outside? Like, are you guys excited for summer? I'm excited for summer. For I want to go to pool. I want to go to the pool. Mm. Maybe Galveston. Hell no, it's so ugly. It's ugly. Rude. It's the thought that counts. Like, most places don't even have a beach. How would you feel that you want to go to the beach but you're in fucking, like, like Oklahoma or something, like, or somewhere further from the ocean, like... I'm, I'm grateful as. If you guys been to Galveston, you know that that place is ugly. Like the actual ocean. I'm not saying like the area, but the ocean. I feel like Galveston has pretty houses. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they're cute. They remind me of this the house like the Up, the movie Up. Mm -hmm. But other than that, you just she just thinks that the water is. Everybody thinks the water is dirty. It's a fact. Like, the water is dirty. But I want to just play in the sand and shit. I ain't gonna, like, fucking get all, like, up in the water and shit. And there's, like, a pretty side of Galveston, though. Like, I have to look for it. <laughs> oh, do you want to go to another beach? What other beach? There's more beaches than Galveston, believe it or not. Like, it's, like, like, cerca, like, más para acá, like. I need a map to like point at to, so she can understand. But yeah. I'm not a beach person, I'm sorry guys. Unless the beach is Cancun. <laughs> what? I always wanted to go to Cancun. But we're poor. Not just that, but I'm not trying to go on a plane. I wanna go to Barcelona. I want to go to Italy. I want to go to Italy in Italy, 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 Italy to actually try pizza, like real authentic pizza. Somebody told me that like pizza didn't didn't originate from Italy. It originated from like China. Or 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 it's the um, Germany or something. No Germany. And it just it really just popularized. Germ no, the Germany did um hot dogs. burgers. <laughs> or one of those. Did you know that nobody knows who nobody knows who invented the idea of the waffle cone? Really? Hmm. That's so sad. Ima imagine inventing something and then they don't credit you. What? Every artist on Instagram. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I like to draw and I follow, like, I follow art accounts and stuff like that. And it's very popular in the art community for like normies, like people like Emily, like normal people. <laughs> Not you, <laughs> but like, you know, normal people to just take art and just repost it on their Instagram and not give credit to the art artist, and that fucking sucks. <laughs> this is cheese. I like how every time I say something, you just change the combo. The combo, <laughs> like you're just. Yeah, like, I was wondering what that cheese. like white little ball thing was. Cheese. Tastes like parmesan. I just want to say that I'm, I'm very, very full. I don't know if I'm stupid or not, but like, I you can give me the four types of cheeses and I'll taste them individually, and I cannot tell you what it is. I'm I just can. Like, I'm just like it's cheese. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can. I can be like this is parmesan. This is mozzarella, this is gouda, and gouda cheese. Mm. You know what? Let me just say, this is not what we usually eat. Like, I'm just doing it for the mukbang. Um, yeah. Usually, when we get pizza, like, I eat only, like, one or two slices, and that's it. 
But because this is a mud thing, I'm like literally exploding on the inside. Like, so the last thing. Same, I usually just eat two thumbnails. So the last three. thing I'm gonna eat is this small ass <laughs> <laughs> tiny pizza, okay? They cut it so small. Conspiracy theory. <laughs> so, did any of y'all see Shane Dawson's conspiracy theory, like part one and part two? Because the whole Chuck E. Cheese pizza thing got me fucked up. Explain what that is. Basically, if you don't know, Shane Dawson did a conspiracy theory on the Chuck E. Cheese pizza saying that um, supposedly, let's say we leave the pizza like this at Chuck E. Cheese, whatever. The employees pick it up, take it to the kitchen, and reuse it to give it to someone else's pizza. You know, they'll just connect, like, for example, let's say we leave it like that, they'll connect both of them together and serve it to you like that, even though it's already been touched by other people. So that's a conspiracy theory, and I do believe it's true. I really do, because when they give it to you, they come out all crooked and uneven, like it doesn't look like they were meant to be together. So, there's a shit ton of pictures of it. You can look it up and find out or just watch Shane Dawson's video. I really do truly believe in that. This is a theory, though. Like, don't take it as fact. So, Chuck E. Cheese don't sue us. And then, um, uh, and their excuse, like, they tweeted about it. They're, like, they didn't tweet it at Shane. But they were like, oh, the reason why our pizzas are uneven is because we use, we use natural dough. Natural? Yeah. Fresh dough. Fresh dough. And like, hold on. <laughs> so cool. <coughs> cut that out. I'm gonna cut every fucking bird out. <laughs> Are you done? Okay, I'm done. But, um, uh, the point was that they use, um, fresh dough. That's why it comes out on even. And I'm like, okay. I get that, like when you make like homemade pizza, it comes out like, it doesn't come out like the perfect circle, it comes out like, you know, like all like aesthetic looking, but what doesn't add up to me, cause you know, we took math, everybody takes fucking math, right? And you know how like when you cut a circle, it's like, you know, like triangles, right? So why does the pizza, like the line doesn't connect like an X or like, like the lines don't connect from the tip. Explain that to me, like, cause when, cause I've seen the knives that they use, or the pizza rollers that they use to cut that shit, like you know. As the, the shapes are supposed to like, cut, like if there's a line here, the line should be here on the opposite side, not like here and then like slightly more to the left or right. That doesn't add up to me. Explain that, Chuck Cheese. I'm so aggravated. I mean, one. No. Nope. You eat the whole thing? We have. Only five. You eat seven. It's uneven. Down twelve. Exactly. I did I know I didn't eat seven. I ate like a good five. I don't even know. Oh yeah, remember, subscribe to PewDiePie, Donate Chuck E. Cheese Pizza, and the Illuminati ones the Grammys. Mm. We're just joking, except for the PewDiePie one. Mm. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Okay, I think that's it for today, you guys. I am full. <laughs> like I am just done. I don't think I'm gonna eat until like tomorrow. Don't lie to yourself. Not for real. You're gonna eat like like around nine. You're gonna be like I want something sweet, and then you're gonna go to my job and get some fucking candy and shit. Mm. I'm just. I'm full. I don't eat this much pizza. Same. <clears throat> well, it's kind of a good thing that they fucked up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Cause we got two medium, two medium pizzas, except instead of like, I can't talk. <laughs> 
I explained it in the beginning. You know, they mm. fucked up. I was supposed to. This is a, this one was supposed to be a large, but they brought it as a medium. But it's whatever. all good. Whatever. Um. So I guess that's uh the end of the video, you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this mukbang. Mukbang. Uh, mukbang. 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 Oh. Whatever you guys pronounce it as, I I always call it a uh, mukbang. Mukbang. That's how I say it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and watch my previous video of 50 facts about me because duh <laughs> and yeah so uh, comment down below if you guys want us to do a specific mukbang video like a certain type of food whether it's like it could be tacos it could be literally whatever you guys um, are interested in seeing us eat um, so yeah, I'm not going to do mukbangs a lot in my channel because I don't eat like this usually. That would be so, too much food. Yeah, that would be too much food, but I'll probably upload one like maybe once a month to make it e to make yeah. it even and fair. Also, I'm going to leave our social media links down below. I'm going to leave her social media links and her um, red bubble. She sells art. Oh uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, she, she's she. Uh, Buy my art. Yeah, she does art, and she you can buy it as like a mug, a t-shirt, t-shirt, sticker, computer. Stickers. I mean, a laptop case, iPad case. So yeah, uh, if you're interested in, in getting something customized, also contact her. I'm gonna leave down below her uh, Instagram art account because she has obviously a normal Instagram and her art account. I'm gonna, leave that, I'm gonna leave that down below so you guys can check it out. I'm gonna leave my links down below as well. I'll link her YouTube channel. She has a YouTube channel. She used to uh, actually do a lot of YouTube videos, but she stopped for some reason. And yeah, I'm gonna still link it down below just in case, just in case you guys are interested in watching her. I might videos. post more art videos. I'm gonna be like art tips, art hacks. What to do when you're broke. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Be kind to one another. So <laughs> ugly. Okay.